Good morning. It is a beautiful Wisconsin morning for early winter. It's supposed to be in the 40s today. I actually have to go to a job and it's a job that we did early spring. You guys will remember it when you see it, but we poured a big set of steps, kind of uh, radius down a hill. It was, it was a pretty big project, uh, kind of complicated. But anyways, she had the railing guy install the railings and he chipped the concrete. So she calls me, emails me, texts me, pretty much everything. And she wants me to come back and fix the chip. So I guess because I'm the concrete guy and the guy chipped the concrete that it's my responsibility to fix the concrete. So, um, you know, can't really charge her for it, but I'm going to go fix it anyway. There are certain times where this happens where you know a person's personality and you know what's going to happen if you don't just do something to satisfy them. So even though it's not fair and I don't have to, I'm not obligated to go fix this chip, I'm going to fix the chip because I just don't want the headache. And sometimes as a business owner, you have to eat stuff and that's one of these times. And then <clears throat> if things work out, you guys know that I'm setting up the shop and um, I used to have a shop just so everybody's aware of that. So I, I kind of know how to set up a shop, how I want it, the things I need to buy and so forth. So. One of the things that I need to buy is a long table. Um, that's just one component. Then I need a toolbox. I want a tool cart, a uh, vice stand, and then a workbench. I would like to have two workbenches, one for one heavy duty for just throwing like small engines on and, and uh, something heavy steel. And then another workbench where I can put like my paint stuff, a uh, paint gun and filters and you know reducers and paint and all that kind of stuff. So got to get a bunch of stuff, but I found a great deal this morning. Actually last night I found it on Marketplace. Uh, it's a store lock. It's a 13 and a half foot long table with drawers, stainless steel top. If you ever heard of that brand store lock, it's very high on. They're very, very expensive. This thing is huge and uh, I, I'm getting a great deal on it. Um, brand new, it's about $12,000, but I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for, but I'm getting it for a steal, so I can't pass it up even though it's a long drive. I don't know if I'm gonna get that done today or not. I'm going to try. Um, I'm trying to get a hold of Daryl, no luck so far, but I definitely need help because this thing is, like I said, 13 and a half feet long and it's one piece, it doesn't come apart. Uh, so, you know, I'm not gonna be able to roll that thing up on a trailer by myself. So we'll see how the day goes. I'm gonna go patch this chip and then hopefully Daryl will call me back. I'm just pulling up near my job here and it looks like there's some guys pouring some concrete. Looks like they're doing a patio. Haas and Sons. I don't know those guys. It looks pretty muddy back there. Yeah, the weather's good today and the ground is well the ground is very questionable right now i don't i don't know maybe they had a cover they might have had the ground cover uh, if they did it's perfectly fine but the ground is getting frosty there's a little frozen layer on top of frost right now all right i just pulled up on a job a lot of you that have followed the channel will recognize it this was the driveway that we did but the big part of the job was the steps here. Oh, here's another thing I'll mention. So when I broomed this driveway, there was, and you can't see it anymore, uh, there was a spot somewhere in this area, you can't tell anymore. You know when you get the broom wet when you're brooming and then you kind of shake off the moisture? So I didn't shake off the moisture for one broom stroke, I forgot or whatever, and somewhere in the middle of the driveway uh, when the broom is wet, it'll make the concrete turn whiter than the rest. And it does eventually fade out, which as you can see, it's gone. But this customer decided to hold back $1,000 because of that. And um, she still hasn't paid me. So It's just the way it is. You guys remember these steps here? They're dirty now. Oh, wow, they are really dirty. But they're looking good. Did a little entrance. You guys remember we fixed up these walls the best that we could, obviously. But yeah, it looks real good. So the railing guy, I think it's, I think it's, 
don't know where it is. Maybe under. I think I'm looking in the wrong spot. Oh, this one. This is <laughs> this is hard to believe. I'm gonna show you. She took an extreme close-up, and it looked like there was a pretty good-sized chunk missing out of the concrete. Look at this. So they obviously, you know, bolted down a railing here in this area, and look at this right there. That's it right there this super tiny chip that's why I'm out here today to patch that <sighs> Wow I hope she never gets a little chip in her driveway or anything which she will I'm gonna be getting phone calls and I'm probably never gonna get my money either my thousand dollars but we'll see maybe I could be wrong about that so I'm spending probably an hour of my time. I just spent $53 at Home Depot buying the stuff that I need. Whatever. I'm getting into a complaining mode. I have a complaining spirit right now. I gotta knock that off. Let's just get this thing fixed up and get out of here. So uh, this is what I'm using. thought I threw the patch in the back of this truck <laughs> I had it in my hand Ryan sometimes you are so dumb I forgot the patch all right we'll make that an hour and a half of my time I'll be right back Eric's here back to the yard I'm so stupid I got the patch right there and I let it sit there what's up Eric what you doing it's not starting oh it's probably because it's leaking let's go get a new 2023 I'll sell you this one Eric hey I'll sell you this one not selling it <laughs> I went all the way to my job to patch I got the patch out got all the other stuff and left the patch sitting right here like an idiot so okay. yeah you working today I'm waiting for Francisco he went to go sign some papers sign some papers for his new job that he started oh okay gotcha it's kind of late yeah I told him I was like well I can help you for a bit man is, is he about halfway done? Oh yeah, we're just starting the other side. Is he gonna finish today? Hopefully. He got other, another guy coming up. Oh, he's got another guy to help? He needs some help, cause yeah. he pretty much, I watch your video, you pretty much do nothing. Oh, I suck, I'm scared. <laughs> I suck. I wanted to come to the job and be like, Eric, do something, I gotta, please. I gotta, I, he looked crappy, he was like. Oh, Francisco? Yeah. Francisco's crabby cause you ain't doing nothing, I that's know. why. <laughs> Do you know how many views you're getting, Eric? Dude, you're getting views that guys will spend years and years on YouTube and they don't get that many views. Do you understand like how many views you're getting right now? No. I don't understand nothing of this yet. I've been looking about how people... Usually it takes a year to, for people to get 4,000 watch hours. Yeah, it's all because of you. Come on. Oh, yeah, obviously. But dude, you got an opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, he said something. To you? Yeah. On your comments? Yeah, I deleted it though. It was bad. What did it say? He said, um... You just gotta ignore... You get almost all positive comments, but... And then, the I stupid see, ones, like that guy from out west, we won't mention his name. Just ignore that. The guy is super jealous. He came. The guy just needs to do his own thing and stop worrying about everybody else. I think people out west, there's a lot of people like that. Yeah, with giant, cocky. giant egos, yeah, cocky. cocky. Yep, yep. Up here in the Midwest, I mean, there's some of some, that, yeah, some but, of them, but it's not as bad. Not as like, bad. hey, remember that job we did with the steps? Which one? 
Um, we did a lot. Yeah, I know. The spiral stairs that came down and we raced in the street that day with Marcel. Marcel won the race. The lady that didn't want the to The lady. She yeah. still hasn't paid. Yeah, that lady. So she like she was reaching out to me. She emailed me, texted me, called me. And I was trying to ignore her a little bit, you know, because I was kind of fed up with her. Yeah. And finally I got back to her because she was just, you know, over and over again. I was like, can I help you? And then she sends me this picture of this chip. She said that the railing guy took a big chunk out of her concrete when he was installing. I went there today. It's 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 like the size of my pinky nail. No way. So she zoomed in. Like, yeah, like, she zoomed way in to make it look like, <laughs> <laughs> like it was a You're big right. chunk. Not you guys are getting a late start. It's almost 11. I told him. Uh, you guys aren't even going to finish today. It gets dark at 4.30. I tell, I tell him, dude. He's, he's, you guys are going to be working on things. Get, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. No way. Yes, it no is. Way. You guys have no to get way. there. Well, you could tarp it, I guess. You guys look like way. straight rookies out there. He, I mean, <laughs> look at me. I'm not, I don't know nothing. Like, I told my wife, I, I carry them shingles, dude, on top of my... Yeah, once you get to the last one, I'm like just shaking. I'm like, Francesco, get me! Dude, I was shaking, man. I hate heights. And they're like 12 feet high. I'm like, what are you going to bust? Your arm? I'm like, but still, you don't get... Home. You don't want to fall from 12 feet. You land the wrong way, you could break a bone real yeah. severely. And I, get well, a compound finish, fracture. I can't finish the one. Right. I can't do nothing. So, I mean, a YouTube channel you can't count on as a career. So yeah. whatever you do with YouTube, use it to supplement your business. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm doing. Every little bit of money that I make from YouTube, not every little bit, but a lot of money that I make from YouTube, I put it right into my construction business. Because your construction business can be your career. Yeah, Don't count on YouTube as your career. Like just, it's a bonus, it's extra money, it's fun, it's, you know. Yeah. If this is the business you want to do, if you want to be yeah. in the concrete oh, business, yeah, then wanna... you invest in your concrete yeah, business. Yeah, because I want to be like, Dan, like where you came from, like from my homie Ryan, like, you know, big, big homie Ryan. <laughs> Like I came from him, like you know, and yeah. what you did, like I, I try to do with my guys, you know. Yeah. I try to do yeah. the same thing. Just treat people treat right. Treat people right. Even always be generous. Like when you make money, give some money away, man. Oh, yeah. Help people. My, my... I try to help people you as I can, but man, man, people are email people email me like every <laughs> day. Can you buy me a car? Can you buy me this? I need a computer. Uh, you know, know it makes you feel guilty. It. Yeah. it makes you feel guilty because there's a lot of people that email you that are well, at least they say they're sick. They have all these doctor bills, their husband's in the hospital and all. And like, you can't help everybody. Yeah. So in a certain way, you kind of feel guilty about that, but you do what you can, you know? Always. But his brother's gonna be there today? Yeah. Oh, if his brother's there, if you have he's two probably, guys, he'll, there he'll be like, pow, 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 and he's yeah. done, you know? I just passed you. I mean, the pro you? roofers, I don't know if you ever watch them, they are fast. Like, roofing is dude, nothing dude, for the them. Video, have you seen the, the roofers that we passed on? They're <laughs> roofing? Dude, they were done in a day. I, did and you? That big house. Yeah. Like this. Oh yeah, next to the job yeah. that we. <laughs> so, did you hear their nail guns though? They were so. They're like. Bah, 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 I was like, try to just... do that. Try to do that. He's like, stop, stop. He got stuck. He was like. I was like, dude, you know. Those guys were done like in no time, and that was a giant house. Like this. My legs, my legs. When I got out from that thing, I was like. I didn't want to even do my legs were so bad. You guys didn't pick up the shingles yet. What's in the back of your truck? Just a little bit. Oh, you barely started picking anything up, Eric. You don't, hey, you don't want to get people to get. That's get like them. not even a one wheelbarrow full. <laughs> Come on. Dude, he... I'm picking up this giant cabinet. And I just thought I was going to use my enclosed trailer. There it is. I don't even think my enclosed trailer is long enough. Oh, yeah, it'll fit. We got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. It's 13 and a half. Where are you buying it? I was gonna go today, but Daryl's not calling me back, so. Dude, Daryl been slacking. He didn't call Francisco either. We're gonna work pretty much. Me and Daryl will work like on and off all winter, uh, doing stuff at the shop. There's a lot of stuff to fix. Plus, I gotta burn tires in there. You all burn your tires? Oh, yeah. I got permission from the landlord, man. You're crazy, man. I gotta go. Okay, yeah. I got a bunch of stuff. All right, talk to you later. Adios. Thank you. Yep. I'll hit you up. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be talking to you soon. Just call me. Why, you, why you put the Christmas tree up so early, Eric? Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Mexican thing, dude. It's a, hey, all the Mexicans. Yeah. All the Mexicans do that. Really? Yeah. My grandma used, my grandma in Mexico. She put it before even Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah. 
Man. All right, I'll talk to you later. You, yep. All right, back to the patch job. All right, we're on our way back to the huge patch job, but I just want to say I'm uh, really happy for Eric. I wish him nothing but the best success in the future. A lot of times you try to guide somebody. I've done this many times in the past, but you give people advice and try to steer them in the right direction in life. And sometimes it works out, but the majority of the time it doesn't, you know, and, and people struggle and, and they go backwards. And it's nice to see Eric taking steps in the right direction. He has an opportunity to be very successful in the future if he just stays uh, committed and you know continually makes good decisions that's one of the things is when you it's one of the hard things i wanted to talk about this for a little while i know it's kind of boring listening to me talk for some of you and tune me out if you want to that's fine not a problem but uh something that comes to my mind and i've seen this over and over again is when when you're the underdog when you're struggling when you're you know the opposite of successful people will root for you your family will be all for you you know they'll try to encourage you your friends they want you to do well and then when you start to get a measure of success they're still you know sort of happy for you they're like yeah man you're making good decisions keep it up but then there is a point and I don't know I can't you can't really like put your finger on when that point is exactly but there is a point where you become successful in their eyes so you know it's all about perspective so once you become successful in in their point of view they'll begin to turn on you and they'll actually hope for your demise they'll root for your failure and it's it's a really strange thing because it's the very same people that were trying to encourage you to make good decisions so that you could be successful and then you know down the road when you do become successful i think there's a ele element of envy or jealousy that that comes into play where they want you to go so far but if you go farther than that or farther than what they've obtained in their life all of a sudden you know that jealousy causes them, them to root for you your downfall and it's a it's a weird phenomenon but it happens i've seen it i've seen it with myself so anyways i just wanted to mention that because that is something that you know if you're if you're starting to grow in business you're going to start to get what we call haters you're going to get the haters and and some of the haters are going to surprise you because they're going to be your friends or people that used to be your people that you thought were your friends so expect that you know if you're going to try to grow a business and you know you start to get some traction and you're doing well that's just part of the deal so one of the measures of success or one of the things that you can use to measure your own success if you have haters once you get haters a steady stream of haters you know that you're doing something right because people are getting jealous of you and um, you know don't let that discourage you just keep moving forward because you're on the right path all right i am back at the job finally i talked to eric for a while but that was good he just started his youtube channel and you know he doesn't he doesn't really know much too much about it so I'm just trying to give him all the advice that i can because his channel really took off once the algorithm connected him to victory he's doing awesome on youtube and he has uh he has a lot of potential there all right so this is what i'm using what i forgot last time just quick crete quick setting cement it's for repair broken corners and edges i'm going to put a little bit of of glue in that giant hole with a paintbrush let that set for just a few minutes and then i'll mix up the tiniest bit of this stuff here and then we'll patch it in with a margin trowel i did bring my own water because her hose is probably turned off. Oops. So we'll mix up about that much. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to even mix this a little bit. 
put some of this glue on. All right, I don't have a paintbrush, so I'm just gonna dip a rag in there, a corner of a rag, and dab it on. Nice job, Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, we're just cleaning our place up the road here. Oh, on that cul-de-sac? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's you know Jim, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I'm, I'm yep. A little shaggy, by yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's a customer I did <sighs> two years ago. Or was it last year? I don't remember. That was when Al was working for me. I remember that job had a rolled curb all the way down the side of his driveway. What's nice is I know some contractors like have to run and hide from their past customers because they got problems on the job. Every time I see a past customer, you know, I don't have to run. Their work is still holding up real well. And it's kind of kind of pleasant. It's hard to even contain <laughs> this in the patch. pierce a little hole where that tap kind goes because I don't want him to chip it again all right that should do it the big repair job is done now he can drive his tap con right back in there and it won't chip again All right, well that was just a bit frustrating, but it's done. Moving on, I still have not heard anything from Daryl, so it looks like the chances of me getting that cabinet today are getting slimmer and slimmer. I don't want this thing to be sold before I get to it either. So that's gonna be really frustrating. I'm here picking up payroll checks early this week because of the holiday. Look at the size of this building. It's brand new. They just built this place. Huge office building. I wonder what something like this costs to build. It's beautiful. So I did want to mention payroll. So there's a lot of construction guys and this conversation just came up with somebody but there are a lot of guys that will 1099 their guys as subcontractors and it's just a warning you can get into huge trouble doing that huge trouble so you better be careful especially posting videos about it it's really really not bright or if you're using day laborers that you pay cash i definitely advise against it all right payroll checks are gone i actually use a high-end accounting firm to do all my taxes and payroll and for me it's worth it because i know everything is done properly i mean you can do stuff in, in business and get away with stuff for a while but if you ever get caught doing stuff you could you could potentially ruin your career you could cost yourself your own business so i'm not calling anybody out all i'm saying is be careful out there not something to mess around with especially when you're in business and, and there's a lot of dollars flowing through your business you can get yourself into big big trouble and it's not worth it it's not worth the risk even having that that feeling that you could potentially get in trouble that stress that anxiety to me it's not worth it sure you can do stuff and you know you can pocket a lot of that money and get away with it for a while but what if you get caught that's the question you need to ask yourself so this is actually the last round of payroll checks for this season. Daryl will be working with me here and there. Eric might hang out once in a while in Francisco, but for the most part, that's gonna be it for my payroll expenses for this year. 
which in a way it kind of feels good but it kind of doesn't at the same time because I do care about my guys I do everything I can you know to try to keep them busy for as long as possible try to take good care of them but you know there's limitations obviously with our weather here in Wisconsin when it's freezing cold the ground is frozen stiff there's not a lot of stuff you can do outside here not practically anyway I know commercial work they still do it because they have enormous budgets and they can use ground thawing equipment and they can cover stuff and uncover when they need to and that's completely different you know it's just not it doesn't practically play out on a residential job site that's why everybody up here in the north shuts down their residential concrete business in the winter months and we plow snow and look forward to another spring so I'm just going back and forth with the lady on marketplace I just had to give her the bad news that it's not gonna work out for today because I can't get a hold of the guy that's supposed to help so I told her that I'm hoping nobody buys it before Monday and if it's still available Monday I'm gonna come and get it it's a huge cap it's 13 and a half feet long I'm keep calling it a cabinet it's it's like a it's like a workbench with drawers basically but it's huge it's it's awesome it'll be perfect for the shop I just hope it's still there next week somebody doesn't come and scoop it out from under me if somebody comes and buys this thing before Monday Daryl is getting the belt 100% all right I'm gonna have lunch at Odyssey still no word from from Daryl I want to eat lunch all by myself how boring is that well, it's two o'clock in the afternoon and I didn't hear anything. So the next video might open with some belt action. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go inside. I have a bunch of paperwork to do, office work. It's never ending office work and answering emails, but that's the way that it is. <laughs> All right, I will see you. I don't know when it's gonna be, but I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. What are you guys doing? Can I explore a teeny teeny one? Wow. I was working outside. It's so, really oh, Daryl didn't show up today. What do you think I should do to him? Give him the belt. That's right. <laughs>